Hi, I'm Mike. I'm sitting down with Clark and Pat. This is Pat. This is Clark from Ankle Bracket. Uh, Ankle Bracket is a user group up here in the northwest suburbs, and actually we just came back from a meeting. Uh, so, Pat, Clark, can you tell me a little bit about uh, Ankle Bracket and what you guys are doing? Uh, Ankle Bracket is very guys that would just want to come and gals, I guess. That would just want to hang on some code. Is, speak up? Yes. Is it not loud enough? Yes, speaking up is we, we're in a bar, and uh, no, that's what not. we do after an angle bracket. Uh, so, so what is angle bracket? What, what, what did we just do today? So, we've tried to form together a number of web developers like yourself uh, to come and meet once a month and take a topic and just code it, right? Yeah. Somewhat unstructured slash structure. So I haven't talked about web sockets. Um, we kind of kicked it off by talking about it, formed up into pairs, pods, a few months. Um, we just started coding and then kind of revisited back at the end. Right? And some people switched around and kind of switched around a little bit. Yeah. Uh, might kind of bounce around the computers. But um, this is kind of the hands on of user groups. Yeah, I, I, that, and unlike most uh, of test interviews, I actually participated in the user group today. And I'd say one of the things I liked was that it was, we had a topic, and then it was kind of like, some people worked on .NET stuff, some people worked on Jasmine yeah. Node, yep. some people, well, I was working on Pusher with Ruby, um, so, you know, it was... Yeah. It's all front-end web stuff, yeah. right? No, no bounds around other than front-end web stuff. And, uh, so, how long have you been doing... Is this the second or third? Or, uh, about three hours. Yeah, yeah. So this was the first meeting. This was the first. Meeting. Okay. And uh, so, what did you guys learn? I know. I know you've been involved quite a bit with user group community in Chicago. You, you still are a dev evangelist. Yeah. Um, so, you know, obviously you were able to bring a lot of what you've experienced going yeah. to so many groups. Um, what, what kind this? of, yeah, why this? Why did you decide on this form? Get away from the user group experience. Yeah, so, I mean, something different. Yeah. I, I, I think we said it in kind of this life before, right? We all sit at home and code. We all learn. Uh, and that's usually by ourselves. Yeah. I, I work alone a lot of times. Uh, I think getting experiences from different people uh, on how they perceive something or use something, or use ask them a question, only further enhances what you learn. So, uh, getting hands on and being able to do it with friends, I think is even better, right? Yeah. And that's what tonight was about. Um, hopefully, as time goes on, the source repository that we're all hopefully forking and then pulling back into. Um, we can grow a set of assets that, you know, when you walk away and you say, oh, well, we were doing this WebSocket thing. Uh, I, I forgot, right? I haven't been using it for a month or two, so it's kind of fallen out of my brain. But I know, hey, I can go to Angle Bracket on GitHub and I can just go grab that, and I should be able to refresh myself. Yeah. That. And oh, by the way, Pat did this thing in WebSockets. Oh, that looked pretty cool. Mark did this thing, then did that thing. Uh, maybe I'll look across all three and talk about something else. So, so that's kind of the point of it, right? So, kind of, you want to build up a body of knowledge, you want to use these groups more to help not just learn together, but also build something that people can go back and use yeah. reference. Cool. I think one of the things that you didn't want to be selfish, but the point is to kind of be selfish on what you want to learn at the, at the user group. So if you want to learn something, you can take that to the meeting and say, I want to learn this, and find someone else who wants to learn it too. Or, yeah. And I, when we went around and asked, yeah. what do you want to get out tonight? This is your two hours that you spend away with your kids, your whatever. And you should walk away with something that you want to learn. And find something that has similar interests. And you know, and like even with the pusher for me, it's uh, something I'm working on a side project, and it's, it's a low priority for me. Normally, when I sit down and think about what do I have to do on this project, being able to sit down for this two hours and be like, well, WebSockets is a theme. Let's dig up from way back in the backlog and uh, bring it up because now I have an excuse to uh, to do that. So that was that was a lot of fun. So and someone fun. might have experience with Pusher next time we go there. Yeah. I mean, at least well, hopefully someone that has had experience with something else, right? That can help yeah. you. I mean, like, you want to struggle on that alone? So, yeah. I'm kind of tired of that. Kind yeah. Of there, be able to struggle with someone. Yeah. I mean, we did. I mean, we had guys from Pusher, Jasmine, Node, uh, Signal R, .NET, Ruby. I tried to get Node Inspector running. 
failing miserably. Remember we have 15 people maybe, 10 people? So, I mean, yeah. yeah, that's a pretty broad breadth of technology yeah. amongst just the people on the right. So, yeah. I, I was impressed. The level, the level of participation was pretty high. Well, it looks like you're off to an auspicious start. So, anyway, thanks, Clark. Thanks, Pat. Talk to you guys later.